Good morning to all. This is Jia Bell, a student of 10th standard, and it gives me immense pleasure to deliver a speech on this auspicious occasion of feast day. Everyone needs a dream, a vision to inspire them. Don Bosco, who was born in 1815 in a small village called Becci in Italy, had that dream very early on in his life. He was told in his dreams that he had the traits and skills to conquer the unruliness of the surrounding of poor stricken children and make them his friends and thus started his journey that altered the course of history he was driven by first hand experience of the effects of dreadful poverty and hunger on the young people he came across he founded a religious order in the catholic church called the salesians who till date continue to work for the young people who are poor wherever they may be don bosco was more than just a dreamer he knew that education was the key to helping these young people so he started technical schools to educate the young people in skilled jobs like printing mechanics etc by guaranteeing a better future for them it is not surprising that don bosco's work spirit and spirituality quickly spread throughout italy then europe and south america and the entire world after his death after a life of achieving so much for young people don bosco died at dawn on 31st january 1888 at the age of 73 but his legacy is continued and is carried forward by the salesians of don bosco this year The Don Bosco Society of Salesian Fathers and Brothers are completing 100 years of service in Northeast India. They still continue on the path Don Bosco laid, placing social welfare ahead of monetary and personal interests. Don Bosco School Silchar was established in the year 2006. It is a co-educational institute and the best in Silchar from its modest beginning in the old campus. The school has now built another world class campus with all modern and unmatched facilities which is the first of its kind in the entire Barak Valley region and beyond with one of the most competent teaching faculty it can boast of the best and most consistent academic results in the CBSE board examination year after year it is a matter of great pride for me to be addressing such a great institution on this auspicious occasion of feast day all that i am right now and all that that i will ever achieve in my life i shall always owe that, that to my very own don bosco school thank you and have a wonderful day ahead
I'm Himali Das and this is my pleasure to stand before you all on the occasion of feast day of St. John Bosco and I'm here to recite a poem. Here is a poem which the boys in the early oratory of Don Bosco in Turin offered to him as a tribute on his name day. On the joyous occasion now of the saint's birth by centennial August 16, 2015, it is my fondest wish that we grow in our knowledge, appreciation and devotion of this great saint. He is the apostle to youth, a working gospel of God's love for the last and the least of the young ones. First among them with the exploited victims of 19th century post-industrial revolution, Irwin Pitmont. They hardly knew their ABCs then, illiterate as they were. Don Bosco embarked on a literacy program for them. Sooner or later they were acting in and producing stage marks, operating offset printing machines, handcrafting suits and leather shoes, and so on. This was all thanks to the many practical skills Don Bosco taught them, not to mention the religious values and spiritual insights he imparted to them. Even this poem believes the heights of education and evangelization which such young people attained through Don Bosco's zealous guidance and pastoral love. The mouths of babes are in turn simply giving back to their beloved father their glowing exultation for him in this poetic tribute. Here then is the poem. Arise, brothers, for on this day our grateful hearts hail Don Bosco, our good shepherd. For the acts of kindness he has shown us, let the trumpets blare and the bells ring loudly, inviting the whole neighborhood to rejoice with us this day. Shout so all can hear, he is the light sent to us by the Lord to illumine the minds and hearts of the untutored young. He is a pillar of strength to the aged, to children without bread. He sustains and guides his young charges along the path of virtue. Sound off, therefore, all young and old, with loving hymns and shouts of praise upon this joyous day. And going before God, let us implore with all our hearts that he keep his pious man in our midst to the fullest of his years. It seems that God has listened to this small voice. Thank you so much. <laughs> My lovely greetings to everyone watching this video. My name is Shlok and I am here to sing a song. I really hope you like it.
अगर तुम साथ बना लो रोशनी से नूर के 